but without leaning forward in the chair I can hit these buttons uh, I don't know what happens if you hit menu got a little breeze today got my flag standing up waving out beautiful day here in North Carolina we had a cold front blow through mm, let's see today's Thursday it was cold all day yesterday high, high temp was about 48 degrees rained off and on a little bit but uh that's behind us now i think we're done with the last of that uh you know cold weather like that anyhow made the decision got in my truck that's my truck i love that truck it's 1982 ford f-150 and i went and got something this morning uh my first little batch load of seed grab 10 bags uh, I've known from the last 20 years of planting with a grain drill that uh, about a bag and a half to the acre gave me a decent population but I got not a clue uh, how much seed I'm going to use going through that John Deere 71 flexi planter so I'll play it by ear and learn something new this year and I'm also trying a new seed variety this year all right, what we got here, I think I mentioned the maturity group 6.8. And I'm wondering if I'll even see a difference in between this and a group 7. But it's ex Extend Flex, and the benefits let me use uh, Roundup in conjunction with Liberty. Last year, I knocked a home run using uh, Volunteer in conjunction with Liberty. But Volunteer is expensive. Something I noticed on this, and I think it's the first time I've actually run into this, is the origin, the grower that, you know, dedicated their crop to become seed bean is here in North Carolina. So I'm kind of hoping that that's going to give these beans uh, some local characteristics. Might do better than anything I've done before. As you can see there, I got no windshield. They give you this really nice little suction cup to uh, stick to the windshield and uh what i've got is homemade canopy does a real good job of keeping the sun off of me and i got to looking at what how i was going to do this thing and uh i thought about using their other mount which is a screw type mount and put it up here and i kind of held things up there and realized i was too far away from where the uh seat is at here I was going to have to almost get up out of the seat to reach up there and touch the controls on the thing mounted up there. Okay, I've been working on this for a while and I've got it in physically installed out there on the tractor. And I got ready to put some power to it and realized the situation and I thought this was worth sharing because maybe somebody might buy this unit after they see it turns out to be a really great unit. Noting instructions, yeah, read them. Uh, in the gray area there see if this will film uh, they don't recommend the cigarette lighter socket because they're sometimes intermittent power turn off the key no power on cigarette lighter socket so you lose power I uh, got a feeling you lose all your stored information when you take power off this unit I'm a tiny farm it's not going to matter to me uh, somebody with a big giant farm trying to store information you may be looking for some type of battery backup system but anyhow with no cigarette lighter on the little Ford tractor I had to cut the thing off uh, electronics critical that you not put power to chassis ground on electronics it, 12 volt DC you got plus and minus repeat critical that you put the plus voltage on the circuitry and put the ground on chassis ground so cutting the cigarette lighter end off here taking a VOM volt ohm meter and ohming these two wires out to be doggone sure who is who the center piece right here that's always your plus 12 volts these side pieces here that's ground as you can see the meter showing zero I'm connected to the gray wire repeat the gray wire is ground the green wire is the uh, plus 12 volts DC well, I got it installed. That's my install. Put that board up there. 
I can reach it comfortably from the uh, seat. And as I was talking about when I talked about all the wires, I just kind of hung them up there. They'll be fine. Got to remember not to drive under um, low hanging tree limbs. The satellite receiver is right up there on top of the metal cab, so the magnet thing stuck right to it. And I turned it on and it came on. I was real pleased about that. I hate buying something, get it home, turn it on, and it don't come on. Okay, just about time I turned the camera on, the green light came on. It says, uh, ready. And it found four satellites. And it tells me it's got 30 hours, uh, 30 and a half hour warming up tracking satellites from changed. Uh-oh. That could be bad news. Red light came back on. Green light went off. Hmm. But anyhow, I don't know jack about it. I'm going to have to try to figure it out. Might call Patrick and say, Hey, Patrick, it's on the tractor. It's turned on. All right. Went back to ready with four satellites and the green light on there. That's good. You would kind of hope that it would stay that way since I'm not moving. I'm just sitting here. Of course, I am close to the forest. Somebody said one time that these things don't do well next to the forest. I'm sitting down here next to the shop. But without leaning forward in the chair, I can hit these buttons. Uh, I don't know what happens if you hit menu. Okay, set up menu brightness. Let's see. Up oh. and down. Okay, that didn't do anything. Swap with sensitivity. Menu. Menu. Set up menu brightness. Enter. Brightness is pretty bright. Okay, all right. That light bright. Stay with that four. All right, enter. And let's see what else you got here. Maybe swath width sensitivity. Go there. Okay, that's telling me 30 foot wide. That's like my uh, sprayer. We'll start off playing with that. So we'll leave that alone. Enter. And let's go back to menu. 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 Hmm. Well. You can push buttons to kind of... No, I do not want a hundred. That's weird. Enter. 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 Okay, that did it. Alright, back to menu. I've got... That's nice. Brightness. Ready. Down. Up. And perimeter set up. Diagnostic service menu. Menu. Okay. Let's see. Straight line. Set an AB point. Okay, that means crank the tractor. Well, folks, I got to go out and play with this thing. I need to read some more about it. I'm just sitting here pushing buttons blindly. Uh, bug it off of my glasses. Let's see if I can figure out how to get it back to the front. Brightness ready. Hey, we've got five satellites now. Okay. okay, this thing works, and I can prove it. First thing I played with was just the uh, straight guidance, uh, setting a point A and a point B, referred to as an AB line. I set the uh, distance between center to center, like they're showing in this diagram here, to 20 feet. Um, just test and play with it and it works um, the other thing I got to play with was calculating the area of a field and it works too now come out here and I'll show you how I verified that the AB line distance setup of 20 feet works all right this feels a little bit rough this is where we were been playing over there setting up that uh, planter but you can see tape measure out there on the ground 
Well, I set it up, and sure enough, it takes the measurement right where the satellite receiver is mounted, which is in the center of the tractor. And tape measure at 20 feet. You can see the tractor tire mark there, and the tractor tire mark right there. Now, the tape measure is not laying in the center because it's pulled out past 20 feet. But 20 feet, is, to give you a point of reference, is right there. Okay, now to back up a little bit where you can actually see the tire marks and realize that 20 feet is in the center. So I started right over there, started my A point, let's see, back in that corner, and then went down to that little contour corner and marked my B point use that little bit of limited headland out there to make my turn and sure enough I was about four feet back into the field when I started getting that solid row of yellow lights um, and this I was coming towards me here and then that little deviation right there that steering on that tractor's wore out so it's it's kind of a fight but anyhow I went right here and almost ran into the 4020 but made my turn and came over here and I was pretty sure this was right all right there's the tire marks for the tractor there and there there's the tape laying in the center of it and it's 20 feet now the reason I chose 20 feet that's a 25 foot tape you know I'm gonna be doing it 30 feet when I start spraying but I like this thing it is not that difficult to set up I'm, you know, I've had, I started just pushing buttons earlier in this video, but I sat down, got a cup of coffee, read the instructions. It's actually kind of logical. I like it. So right now, my recommendation, if you need GPS and you don't want to, you want to come in below a thousand dollars on it and you want free satellite, this thing eventually found nine satellites. Um, I'm going to have to recommend this unit. Right now, I recommend it. I don't see anything negative about it. I'm happy. And now I need to get to work preparing this land so I can start planting all that seed that's still in the back of the truck. But, uh, yeah, I'm happy with this thing. Everybody, thanks a bunch for watching. Uh, be planting here. I don't know, I'll probably get this land worked up. I measured this field, as I'm showing you the area calculation, and I drove the center of the tractor around the edge of the field and set this thing to calculate to the left of me, which the field was always on my left, and it came out 5.5 acres. Uh, Woody, the man who drives that spreader truck that I'm so impressed with, he's very sharp. He farms, he knows a lot of stuff. He calculated this field with his GPS and he came out with 5.5 acres. So that's a real nice little matchup between this system and the system that's in his truck. All right, I got to get to work, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video that I put together here for you to watch. And if you're still here watching, God bless each and every one of you. And know that God loves you. Amen.